All right, this time around, we're gonna give you a peek into what the five-star resorts in Nusa Dua look like. Perfect for families with kids visiting Bali. Nusa Dua boasts plenty of hotel brands and they mostly have a similar setup. In this video, we'll walk you through their room types, facilities, restaurants, and what's around them. After that, you can decide whether you fancy a luxurious stay in a Nusa Dua five-star resort or maybe opt for the Ubud Villas. So let's dive in. First off, you can't go to Bali with kids and not hit up the swimming pool and beach. Almost all the hotels in Nusa Dua are pretty much the same. Some of them have its own private beach just for their guests. And inside the hotel grounds, they've got these enormous lagoon-style swimming pools with poolside bar offers refreshing beverages and snacks. All hotels have easy access to their private beach. They've got beach chairs and umbrellas set up for guests too. Plus, they usually have a beach bar where you can just hang out. And hey, most hotels also have happy hours with discounted drinks for guests. It's a great spot for kids to have a blast while parents catch the sunset with a cocktail or hit the waves for some surfing. There's no room for it. There's no room. No All right, let's talk hotel rooms now. All resorts in Nusa Dua offer a range of room types, from deluxe garden views to ocean view suites, ranging from 200 to 500 Australian dollars per night, including breakfast. You can pick what suits your budget best. Most resorts have a special room type, commonly known as the clubhouse. In the resort we're looking at, they've named it the palace. The rooms in this clubhouse or palace are traditionally luxurious, with daily in-room fruit baskets and snacks. Drinks in the fridge are complimentary and get restocked every day. The bathrooms come with separate tubs and spacious walk-in showers. On top of that, guests get exclusive access to the private lounge and pool, where they can enjoy complimentary breakfast, afternoon tea, and evening cocktails. You can truly have a luxurious getaway away from the crowds and feel like royalty in the palace. The rooms in this resort in Nusa Dua feature wooden floors and a simple, Balinese-style decor with some wall art. Most rooms have a contemporary look, but you can still feel the Balinese influence through colorful, intricate patterns on accent pillows and headboards, as well as the use of local building materials. Most resorts in Nusa Dua offer a wide range of dining options because some are tucked away from the hustle and bustle of the main area. Due to this, there might not be many restaurants or cafes nearby, so we'd suggest booking a room with daily breakfast included. That way you can save time and transportation costs by not having to travel to nearby cafes and fully enjoy your time in the resort, making the most of their facilities for a relaxing holiday. Their buffet breakfast is fantastic, featuring a variety of options from traditional Balinese to Western Indian, Chinese, and even Japanese breakfast items, along with plenty of fresh fruits, pastries, and juices. After enjoying such a satisfying breakfast, you won't feel hungry until afternoon tea. For dinner, you can either dine in one of the resort's restaurants or, like us, explore the top-rated restaurants in Nusa Dua. The food there is delicious and much more affordable compared to the resort. Don't stress about safety in Nusa Dua. There are plenty of security guards around, so it's totally cool to take a walk in the bustling areas or markets in the evening. There's this cool shopping spot called Bali Collection where you'll discover plenty of cafes, restaurants, boutiques, souvenir shops, and supermarkets. Plus, they hook you up with shuttle services to most resorts in Nusa Dua. So, if you're keen to venture beyond the resort, it's a solid choice. The resort we are showcasing in this video is called Ayodhya Resort Bali. If it piques your interest, you can find the link in our description or on our Bali travel plan. And if you're looking for a budget-friendly place that still gives you that Balinese vibe, check out this video now. 